hello all so in this video i'll be showing you the anatomy of sphenoid bone because most of the portion of sphenoid bone lies in the skull base uh, and inside the cranium uh, sphenoid bone is a little less uh, understood so that's why i've chosen this video for sphenoid bone so few parts of sphenoid bone which you can see on external surface of skull are like this this is the greater wing of the sphenoid bone the same greater wing you see inside the orbit on the lateral bore of the orbit you see some part of the greater wing of sphenoid okay and in the medial part of orbit you see the lesser wing of the sphenoid okay so again this is the greater wing and then inside just if you remove the mandible if you remove the mandible then you can see that the part of sphenoid in the skull base that is pterygoid plates there are two pterygoid plates one on each and consisting one lateral and one medial pterygoid plate so let us let us study the anatomy in a little depth so now you can see how the sphenoid bone is oriented inside the in the cranium okay it's a the sphenoid bone it looks like a bird like structure it's like a bird like structure and in this you can see that the bird the structure is having some wing like structure here and another wing is here and there are two smaller wings like here and here okay and this is the leg of the flying bird so now this is the greater wing this is the lesser wing of sphenoid and these are the pterygoid plates pterygoid plates okay there are two pterygoid plates the lateral and the medial pterygoid plates so this is it and this is the sphenoid bone okay and this is the inferior surface this is the anterior view of sphenoid bone this is the superior view of sphenoid bone okay this is the superior view here you can see this is the uh, this is the portion where which forms the middle cranial fossa now let us see this structure as it is there in the skull so here we will remove the skull cap remove the skull cap and then we'll see this finite bone right here this part the part of middle cranial fossa is formed by the sphenoid bone and you can see that there this is the greater wing of sphenoid this is the lesser wing of sphenoid there okay So let us see the how the sphenoid bone is there uh, as in skull base going below to the skull base. We will remove the hyoid bone and mandible. We'll remove the mandible so that we can see the hyoid the sphenoid bone better. So now you can see the sphenoid bone over here in the basal view of skull okay and in this view you can see that there there are two target plates are very well visible and let us hide the zygomatic bone okay now you can see this target plate and 
two plates that is the lateral pterygoid and the medial pterygoid the the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate gives attachment to the lateral pterygoid muscle and the medial surface gives attachment to the medial pterygoid muscle okay so that's it for today thank you